All time favourite biscuit. Oh, jammy dodgers. Fixed or running setup. Running. Beatles or Rolling Stones. Beatles. English 50 or French 80. English 50. Black Mirror or Burfield Common. It's got to be the Black Mirror. Uh, the worst part of carp fishing. Um, that's a tough one. Worst part of carp fishing. I think the idiots are trying to carp fish, but they're not really carp fishermen, and they think they are, but they're not. <laughs> uh, mark a rod, yes or no? Um, they've got the uses, but I choose not to. Spod or spom? Neither. Two anglers to have in your uh, carp fishing dream team. Um, that's me. I'm in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that might have been oh, a liner, mate. Oh, Sorry <laughs> about that, folks. No problems at all. Uh, start again. Two anglers to have in your carp fishing dream team. It's got to be the past. It did have to be Richard McDonald. Um, Julian Cundiff and maybe even Kevin Nash. I'll let you offer them maybe. Yeah. Uh, pellets or particles? Particles. Uh, Favourite colour hook bait? Um, I prefer a dark bottom bait purely because of the bird life but I do like a white tipper. Boredom on the bank, book or TV? Book. Solid bags or funnel web? Uh, funnel web. Favourite pastime other than fishing? Um, boxing. Carp sacks, yes or no? Um, for photography purposes, yes, but any longer than five, ten minutes, no. Ideal holiday destination? <laughs> uh, it'd have to be where I got married, which is Mauritius. Most inspirational person in your lifetime? Angling or non-angling? Either. Or both? For, for non-angling it's got, got to be my dad, he's been through such a lot, you know, with cancer and all sorts, so he's inspired me to, uh, to carry on and enjoy life. In angling, um, blind me, Richie McDonald. <laughs> you like Richie McDonald? Yeah. Uh, Royal family, yes or no? Or don't care? Well, they don't care about me, so I don't care about them. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> uh, seven individual nights or a week-long session? A week-long session. Uh, what is the best bit of angling you have ever witnessed? The best bit of angling? I would have to say... I haven't witnessed it personally, but I've seen it on a video, and that's got to be Nigel Sharp's capture of the uh, Bergfield Common. Okay, and uh, last but not least, your angling hero. Cool. Angling hero, past Richard McDonald, <laughs> but I must also say Julian Cundiff. Uh, I'd say past and present Julian Cundiff, and um, definitely Jim Shelley and Terry Earn, without a doubt. All right, that was Nick's quick fire round. <laughs> a bit longer than a bit longer than it should have been, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All time favourite biscuit? Nice or nice, whatever they're called. Fixed or running setup? Hmm. I'd probably have to say fixed. Beatles or Rolling Stones? Beatles all day long. English 50 or French 80? English 50. Black Mirror or Burgfield Common? Burgfield Common all day long. Worst part of carp fishing? My pet eight on the bank is people who are just in the bobbins and they haven't got the decency to turn off the alarms. That absolutely, you know, but uh, that's me only put out. Mark a rod, yes or no? Uh, as Nick said, it's got its advantages. If you can get away with it without using it, like today's venue, no need. But 
if I haven't got to use it, I won't use it, but if you have to, I will use it. Spot or spam? Spam. Two anglers to have in your fishing dream team, carp fishing dream team. Right, well, Julian Cundiff, he's a personal friend of mine and Nick's, he's a, you know, he's a gentleman, so Jules, without doubt, and Gaz Ferrum. Oh, great. Pellets or particles? Mm, pellets. Favourite colour of bait? Probably have to be white. Boredom on the bank, book or TV? Uh, I think to go fishing you get away from the TV, so bringing it with you is defeating the object. So, a good old carpy mag, carp talk, carp well, carpology, any of them. Mm. Solid bags or funnel web? Ooh. Um, that's a good question because in some situations a solid bag comes into its own as well as a funnel web, but personal preference, probably the funnel web. Favourite pastime other than fishing? Football. <laughs> Carp sack, yes or no? As Nick says, if you can uh, avoid using them, I would do. I'd rather get a fish out, photograph it, obviously, if you can, and get it back as soon as possible. Ideal holiday destination? New York City. Been there, done it, best place I've ever been to. Most inspirational person in, my, in your lifetime? In my lifetime, uh, is my good old friend Simon. Uh, Sadly, he's no longer with us. Uh, not for the fishing purposes, because he hadn't got a blooming clue. God bless him, I've tried to take him a few times, but he suddenly died three years ago. Uh, he was I've got really good friends, but Cy was probably one of my closest friends, so Simon Shanks, God bless you, he's me, inspiration. And he was a Wolves fan. <laughs> <laughs> Seven individual nights or a week-long session? A week-long session. What is, what is the best bit of angling you have ever witnessed? The best bit of angling I've ever witnessed is actually down here and it was with one of the field testers for No Weight on Bait, a lad called Matt Pizzi. Uh, he was only on here for a year and the reason being is he literally smashed the place to bits. He caught every big fish in here within the space of six months. Just We did a week long session down here about two years ago in March and I've never seen a bloke, literally, every day we came down. It was just as if he started off where he left off. Unbelievable. He's a good angler and that was my... Uh, best bit of angling I've ever witnessed to be honest. Angling hero? Angling hero? It's got to be Jules again. Past and present? Past, present. I've read all his stuff. I just think the bloke's, he's a gentleman, he's a, you know, he's got a day job, he's a, he's a, he's a lawyer boy, you know, that's his day job. If it's his fishing around it, I just think the bloke is just, he's just me, right? brilliant. I've got one to add. If you could use only one rig, what would it be? One rig, if I, yeah, uh, the snowman rig. That's depending, obviously, the condition suit because you know if it's a, a silty bottom like we're fishing now or a hard bottom clay gravel, it's a rig I've got that much confidence in. You can take it anywhere in the world. That's how confident I am, and it, it you know it presents a bait superbly, good or cold, snowman rig. <laughs>